Hello, folks, and welcome back to um, Lego Project Ideas. Um, last time I made this car slash truck kind of thing. Um, and I realized after I did it that my tires are sticking down too far. So if I had to go to assemble this, it wouldn't work out very well. So one of the cool things um, that I'm going to talk about here in this video is using Thicken which is up here towards the top. And you can actually just take any surfaces like that, 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 and that, okay? Well, that's weird that it turned it all green. I don't know why it does that. Uh, and move it in a certain direction, a certain amount. So now the tire stuck down below that a little bit. So I think I'm gonna make it 0.3 instead of 0.25. Um, and that way it will now, it will stick onto the where it's supposed to stick onto, um, and the tires won't get in the way. So anyway, that was just something to think about. All right, um, I want to talk about um, talk about making some trees. So I'm going to start a new element or start a new part studio. Actually, I don't want to start a new part studio. I take that back. I'm going, to, I'm going to use one of the parts that I already have. That one right there, as a matter of fact. So um, this was one that, that I had already made. Um, make, in fact, I'm going to call that one tab round. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this thing. Okay, and use that instead. So I think I'll call this uh, pine tree because we're going to make two different types. I'm going to make a pine tree and I'm going to make a, uh, a palm tree. So here's my pine tree. And okay, I'm going to talk about, I had some problems with this earlier. So I'm hoping that they happen again because we're going to talk about problem solving a little bit. So, um, I want this to be able to stick into a part, but the tabs, these little tabs stick up. Let's measure this a little bit. Um, measure the height of that. Um, it's giving me a diameter and an area. Okay. Um, I can't remember how much those things poke up. Oh, I know what we can do. We can measure from this surface to that surface. Um, and it will give me a distance in the Z direction is 0.125, uh, an eighth of an inch. Cool. So I know that I need a plane then to sketch on that is offset from there an eighth of an inch. Now, right now I zoomed out because I'm like, where is the plane? It's way down there. So I want to go the other direction, 0.125. If you don't see something, you know it's supposed to be there. Zoom out. Okay. All right. There we go. Cool. All right. So now I've got a place to start. Um, I think I'm going to start by saying that I'm going to make a section view. There we go. No, not that way. I'm going to go to that. Uh, not that one. Okay. Up here, I could get rid of what I wanted. All right. Cool. So those other parts are still there. Uh, I just don't need them anymore. So now I'm going to sketch on here. And I'm going to draw a circle from the center point of this. I'm going to need a point. Now this is where I ran into trouble before. So I'm going to need to project Let's see what happens when um, I project one of these edges. There we go. So I have a center point. Now we can draw a circle. But I'm going to make it a little bigger than that because I'm making it a pine tree trunk. Eh, I like that ish. Okay. Now, the problem I had before is that um, I need to have my profile inside be able to extrude. So I'm going to extrude, but I want this. I want 
want it to go the other way, but I don't want it to be hollow. So, and I want that. There we go. Now I'm not sure why it's not giving me a preview. That's really interesting. Maybe if I make new, add, hmm. I'm going to just hit my check mark and see. See, I'm having problems with this. There's an extrude, but it's not showing it. So I'm not sure why it extruded a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. I'll undo that. Try that again. So I've got a sketch. I'm going to extrude. So I'm going to try and drag a box around what I want to extrude. I want it to flip the other way. See, that's really bizarre that it's giving me this face. I wonder if I have to turn my section view off. Let's try this again. So I'm going to extrude. See, that, see I'm glad that these problems are happening because I want to... have to extrude these things. I want there to be problems so we work these things out. Okay, let's try section viewing again. No, we're going to go to this plane, not that one. Okay, um, and I'm not sure why this happens. I'm going to try that one more time, and I do know the definition of insanity. I want the inside, I want that, I want that, and I want the inside too. But yeah, it won't, just will not pick up the inside. All right. I have a different way of doing this. I am not sure why this is happening and why it's not picking that up. If, um, if somebody else knows why and can tell me, um, then great. But I'm going to delete that sketch because it's just not working for me. And I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to offset this plane just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit from where it was before. Okay. And then we're going to sketch on that new plane. Let's see if this works. Now, I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a point. I'm going to see if I can hover over. See, now it's not going to let me put those points in there. Hmm. See, I want it concentric. Maybe if I draw a circle out here, I wonder if I can use my concentric. Make this concentric with that. Okay, that's promising. Let's see what happens now. Extrude. Okay. Now, I don't know why it didn't do it before. Okay, when I go in the opposite direction, it sure doesn't like it. It might be because I'm going uh, solid through solid. Maybe if I say merge with all, then it will be okay. Maybe if I say I want a new part. It will be okay. Huh. Boy, this just goes to show you guys that there are all sorts of problems that we have. Okay, I'm going to go a different route now. Um, show you a different thing that we could do. So I'm going to undo that. Might have to start over and make a new part. You know, don't give up. Find a different way of doing it. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of these things that I started with um, and drag my rollback bar up to there. Oops. Up to there. Let's turn section view off so I can make sure I know what I'm doing. And we're going to delete uh, things up to one. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Um, split this, uh, or 
I can start my trunk a little bit higher, go to this extrude, extrude one, okay, which went up a little bit. What was extrude two? Extrude three was the one that went down. Okay, so I think without extrude three, um, I'm going to change to a 0.25, make it a little smaller. See how that goes. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, now I'll just make my tree up here. Now, here's one of the things we can do. When you use the thicken, you can actually take it the other way, I think, and make it a negative 0.125. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it doesn't like it. All right, that's fine. I'm going to then extrude. <laughs> All this stuff is just figuring out a way to do it, right? And I'm going to go remove it up to face, and I'm going to choose that face. All right, so now I've got my little base piece to start on, and now I can sketch on here. Now, if things don't work out now, I'm going to be really, really upset. So hopefully I can make my circle hover in here. There's the midpoint, about yay big. It's probably bigger than it needs to be. And, whoops, let's go back into that sketch and make that a little smaller. There we go. All right, now let's see what happens. That and that, okay. Um, and right now it's an inch. I want maybe, I don't know, four or five inches tall. Let's try that. See how that looks. This is going to be the trunk of my tree. Let's try six inches tall. All right. And now I am going to make it a draft. Now, right now it's going out. I want it to go in. So I want it to go the other way. Now, right now, oh, it does work out like that at three degrees. Okay, that works out. Okay. Whew. Okay, that was a long way to get to that point. I'm going to also make it brown because it's going to be the trunk of a tree. Whew. All right, there we go. All right. Now, it's going to be a little tricky because I need to have a plane that goes through the middle of this thing. Okay, so um, if there is a plane that exists going through the middle of it, I'm good. So let's take a look at where the top is. Nope, that is not what I want. Let's take a look at the front. That is not through the middle of it. Let's take a look at the right. Uh, that is not through the middle of it. That little circle is on the edge. Okay, so here's here's how I can deal with this. I'm going to put some points on there by making some sketches. And I can go in a pol polar direction from the very, very middle up. Actually, let's put a point right there in the middle. And then I can go from that point straight up right to there straight up right to there. Okay, now I've got two points, but I need three. So um, up here, I'm going to make a sketch. And I'm going to put a point that is, again, hovering from the middle. Actually, I can use the middle right there and that will work out and now i have three points that i can use to make a plane so i'm going to make a plane but i'm going to use three point and my points i'm going to choose are that one that one and that one and that will make a plane going right through the middle of it all right good deal so i'm going to sketch on that plane All right, let's view normal to the plane and we're gonna flip it around so it's right side up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and section view it too. Oh, I guess I can't do that while I'm in the sketch. But that's okay, I don't need to. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work is 
I'm going to come up a little bit. I have to project this edge to use it. Come up a little bit. I need a line that I'm going to revolve around. And then you can use straight edges, or I like arcs. Because trees have more arcs on them, like that. And it should be a lot smaller. There we go. And to save time, I'm just going to go use lines because you get my point, right? All right. Now, I need to come in here because I'm going to need to make my profile. So I'm going to have to come straight down from there. There we go. And then straight up to that point, so I have something to revolve around. Boy, that's going to be a tree just basically on the top. But let's so let's take that and stretch it out a little bit more, and take that and kind of stretch it out a little bit more. There we go. You can come back and play around with it later a little bit if you want. All right. So now I'm going to take this profile. I'm going to revolve it. But I'm not going to go all the way around, and I hope this becomes clear at some point. We'll take that, revolve, and we're going to go around this axis. But I'm not going to go full. I'm going to go um, one direction a certain amount. Now, right now, that's 30 degrees. And let's try 20. See what that looks like. And this will give it the illusion of, you know, bushiness once we do that and then make a pattern. Okay, so I've got that guy. And now I'm going to make a circular pattern. I want a feature pattern. And I'm going to take my Revolve 1. And I'm going to go around. I need this little, this little line right here will be. Now, I, I had this problem before where it didn't want to do this. So, around that line. So, do I want to go? Let me try a different way. Make a circular pattern again. I'm going to make a feature pattern. I want it to be that feature. And this time, I think I'll choose the trunk. And it still does not want to make a feature pattern. Maybe I need to make a part pattern. And take the whole part. Okay, well now it wants to do it. Bizarre. So, okay, try eight. All right. And, boy, it looks like an umbrella. Huh. But... There's the point, right? So, um, yeah, it looks like more like an umbrella than a tree, but there's lots of different ways that you can play around with this and, and see what you think. So I don't know why I had to make a part pattern instead of a circular pattern, but um, there we go. Um, all right, next is to make a um, palm tree, which I think I'm going to do in a different video because I'm trying to keep them short. All right. Enjoy. See you on the next one.